So, 10 years ago, a teenager from the UK named BJ Han went to a restaurant with his friends to celebrate his high school graduation. There, he unknowingly consumed food that was contaminated with allergens. Before his friends could administer the epinephrine, or also known as an EpiPen or adrenaline shot, uh, he tragically passed away. So we live in a society where our medicine is so advanced, so the fact that an issue like this is still prevalent is a huge problem. This is why we created Adrenal Patch. So just to get us started, I'm the CEO of the company Adrenal RX. My name is Agam Singh, and we follow a hierarchical business rule. Hi, I'm Savannah Barron and I'm a co-COO, and this is our mission statement. Here at Adrena RX, we will revolutionize allergy treatments through innovative, high-quality, and stylish life-saving solutions that empower people to confidently navigate their lives. And these are our ethic and core values. First, we have efficiency, and we strive for efficient solutions that work for everyone. We aim to keep our product as cost-effective as possible, and the cost decreases for consumers by 50% after the first year. And next we have quality, and uh, we pride ourselves on our quality of service, and we rely on tests and data-driven solutions. And finally, Adrena the Adrena patch is designed to last. Hi, my name is Brian and I am the CMO. Uh, our problem is that individuals often forget their MVPIN due to inconveniences in which they are unable to access them on time during their allergic reactions. Therefore, carrying medicine like MVPINs are prior and essential for those with food allergies. But our product can solve this problem by providing a fashionable accessory designed to link into the patch and with the capability of delivering the medicine when necessary. Hi everybody, my name is Cami and I am the co-COO. As an EpiPen user myself, despite having used over dozens of EpiPens, the feeling is still the same. So there's a lot of stress involved in administering an EpiPen. So our product aims to make sure that we are all making sure that the uh, user is as safe as possible and can get the medicine they need. So our product actually uses three parts. So um, there is the patch, there is the ring, and there is the pod. So the ring goes on your finger and when triple clicked, it activates a Bluetooth single, signal that, go, that um, alerts the patch and pod on your leg. The pod has the epinephrine that is life-saving and the patch administers it directly into the bloodstream. So in order to keep our both manufacturing costs and cost of the actual product low for our customers, we have partnered with several large companies, including Aura, a health uh, ring company, Johnson & Johnson, and Kaleo. So Kaleo has been recently acquired by Marathon Asset Management, and that means that they are very anxious to get into the epinephrine market. Um, additionally, we have partnered with Kaiser Permanente, and they have um, committed to uh, buying 50% of our first year sales. Hi, I'm Ayan Sahu, I'm the CTO for Adreno RX, and the one thing that makes us stand out and blows our competitors out of the water is our free companion app, Adrena App. Now, Adrena App has four key distinctions that make it so that it prioritizes the well-being of our consumers. Essentially, the first two are its ability to provide emergency services and uh, family contacts as soon as you triple tap to activate the system. This ensures that the, your loved ones and people who can get you to safety are immediately notified and know exactly where you are because anaphylactic shock is a serious matter. The third is its ability to always keep a physician in the loop. We've partnered with multiple medical institutions to ensure that physicians are always kept in the loop and we've created a standardized system so that every single physician from every hospital will be able to get you the help you need. Fourth and finally, there's no questions about safety or privacy because all the data is stored encrypted and locally on your device. So all the data that comes out is data that you choose to share yourself. But why does any of this matter? Why are you preferring our product? Last year alone, 10, hundreds of people have 
died and have their stories ended because of malfunctions with the EpiPen. Adreno RX aims to switch up the narrative by ensuring that the Adreno patch is always with you at all times. So there's no question whether you have your EpiPen or not, and there's no question of whether it'll be effective because it's stuck to your leg, it's there, and it's ensured that you will be you will get your help. But how does any of this actually come to market? Right now, we target those who suffer from light or severe allergies because even those with light allergies have experienced severe anaphylactic shock. There are about 3.6 million EpiPen users right now, and the market value is valued at 1.6 billion. Um, globally, the market is 2.5 billion in 2024, and the United States holds 700 billion of that. The uh, uh, biggest competitor, uh, EpiPen, and its parent company, Milan, has about 72% market share, so we're going to be going after that. Hi, I'm Lila from HR. Um, for our company, we will be finding our employees through online platforms such as LinkedIn and Indeed. We will be requiring in-person interviews and background checks, as we will be working with medication and technology. In addition to that, we will be uh, valuing experience, education, and certification for our employees. We are looking for marketing, sales, and HR positions. For retention, we plan to send weekly emails with updates of things happening throughout the company, in addition to shoutouts of employees or teams that have accomplished something for our company. We will also um, have a feedback form available for all employees to fill out anonymously and once a month we will send out a another form where employees can take that feedback and vote on new norms. In addition to that, we will increase benefits, salaries, and we will have a promotion for you in a, uh, on average about two years. Benefits will include health insurance before a 401k plan, and we will have time off. That will include 15 days of paid time off in addition to seven sick days. The unused sick days will carry on for your next year as paid time off. Hi, I'm Leslie and I'm your CFO. So, as we mentioned before, we have the rings, the pods, and the patches. So the rings would cost to make about $75 when we sell them at $100, while the patches would be $125, but we would sell them at $200, and the pods would be $175, but we sell them at $300. And I'd like to explain that the rings and the patches are in a bundle for the first year, and the uh, pods will come with it. So that would be $600, which is the same price for two EpiPens in one year. However, once you go into the next year and the next year after that, that's a 50% cut or reduction in pay. So in the first year, we have with 5,000 units, we have uh, $3 million in sales. And as you can see, there's $0 in the salaries because we are reinvesting our time into the company. So as you can also see that the insurance and the legal costs are high because we have a patent pending. Plus, we also have received FDA approval. And I also want to say that the reason that the pods are reoccurring is because they only have a shelf life, or the medicine only has a shelf life of one year. Hi, I'm Chris Wee, and I'm the co-CFO. So let's talk about year two and three. Okay. So starting um, in, from year two, we're going to start um, having salary fees because we only cut salaries on year one in order to kickstart the company. And the bulk of our budgeting is going to go towards marketing as we are partnered with several different companies in order to distribute our product. So we need a lot of money in order to make sure our product is getting places and we're able to develop it well. We go and um, insurance fees are also quite high due to having to get patents. So talking about recurring revenue, this is sort of, our business plan is sort of a subscription plan where you'll need to pay $300 for the patch and ring, as well as $300 for the medicine. But in the coming years, you'll only need to sell to buy $300 worth of medicine. So customers that already have the ring, we predict that 75% of them will return to buy more medicine, which means that um, we're basically taking 0.75 times the previous year's um, sales times 300, which is the cost of the medicine. And this will give us the recurring revenue. And um, so our total profits for year one, two, and three would be um, negative 25,000. 